Well, what we want to do now is go over the Weesler uh, CVs. Uh, starting on page 23 in the catalog, what you have is complete shafts listed. You have several CV shafts listed for batwing cutters, for balers, for several applications. And I want to just point out a couple of differences. If you'll notice, there's always a metric shaft and a domestic shaft side by side on the page. So you have your choice of either. Uh, we believe that the domestic shaft is the best choice, and I'll tell you why. When you look at the metric, all metric shafts, uh, the CV joint in the middle is a ball and socket. So really, when it goes in there, you only got contact on one point on that ball most of the time. Where on the Weasler CV, what we have is we have a, a cutaway right here. And on the Weasler CV, we actually have a centering plate with a shaft that goes through, and you have actually have line contact instead of point contact on it. Uh, on, a domestic, on a metric CV, what you have to do is you have to pump it up. Most of them take about 40 pumps of grease to charge that CV. If it's hot and the CV's turning out in the field, it tries to sling the grease back out. Where on our domestic CV, what you have is you have centering plates that are in the center here, and what you're doing is you're only topping that off. It may only take five or six pumps of grease to top off the Weasler domestic CV, where you take 40 pumps on a metric CV. The other thing you have is you have a patenting greasing system where when we grease, actually grease from right here on the side where the cutaway is, it greases all the way through the center, greases the whole thing into the other side. So it's actually designed, there's several patents on this CV, and uh, what we have is we have a patented greasing system on it that keeps grease through the whole CV. It gives you much longer life and a much more consistent return.